What's good fam, Joe and Sam back on the camp and on today's episode we are watching Uncle Roger being forced to review the worst Thai red curry. I don't know why he's being forced to review it, I haven't got that far. It's looking a bit brutal by the the shapes on the screen, don't you think? Yeah, I can see that knife. Well, I was talking about the rice cooker in the background, but fair enough bro. <laughs> it's lit up. But of course we are doing another one of Jamie Oliver's, or should I say Jamie Olive Oil's videos. And so far, it's not gone well for him, has it? No, I think his fandom, if any existed before, has gone down. Let's uh, jump into the worst Thai red curry, which is completely different from green. So God knows, he's probably going to put beetroot in it to make it. <laughs> <red>. <laughs> Let's go. Who are you? Why are I tied up like this? Ah, uh, Uncle Roger, I've been sent by Auntie Helen. She's not happy that you've been mentioning her in all your Ouija's. Auntie Helen? My ex-wife Auntie Helen? You tell her I'm not scared of her. Oh really? She knew you were going to say that, so we have something special planned for you, Uncle Roger. What? You have to review Jamie Oliver's Thai red curry. <laughs> no, no, no. Please, please, no. Help her do anything she wants. <laughs> He's had enough. So I'm going to make the most beautiful Thai red curry with prawns and lemongrass in all the supermarkets. Just trim off the ends like that. Uh, lemongrass correct? Come on, review it properly. It's Jamie Oliver. He must have made some mistake. He cut the wrong end. He cut the wrong end. You need to cut the hot end while you cut the soft end. Hiya. Jamie, see? <laughs> Nephew kidnapper. Even he know you fucked up. And then just give it a spank <laughs> if you smell it. It's also released that incredible... Why is he like spanking thing? Sure, but lemon sort of smell. <laughs> Jamie Oliver does a lot of weird things with food, don't he? In terms... Well, yes. But what, what do you mean specifically? Yeah. Well, you know, he spanked food before. Now he's smelling it. He's got a weird thing for the lemongrass. That was lemongrass last time as well. They go in with the lemongrass. Oh, yeah, shit, it was. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a lemongrass kink. Fetish. <laughs> or flavour, absolutely gorgeous. So I've got the lemon. Hey, uh, food processor. Use pestle and mortar. I'm gonna put a heaped teaspoon of tomato puree. What? Then... what? Tom tomato puree for? Okay, that just answers my question of how he's gonna make it red. Yeah, he's already going in for the wrong ingredients. We're going for a pasta-based sauce now instead of a Thai red curry. So the worst. <laughs> Italian red curry? <laughs> An Italian curry? <laughs> Italian red curry. Oh yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Otherwise there'd be no need for tomatoes in this recipe. <laughs> what is this? A heaped teaspoon of tomato puree. I uh, know, but they use tomato for Thai red curry. That's the wrong thing. Nephew kidnapper, cut off my rope. Uncle Roger wanted to put my leg down from chair. <laughs> <laughs> this must be fastest Uncle Roger ever put leg down from chair. He really is yeah. a insane boat of fucking up. <laughs> he used tomato puree for red curry. What is this? You're trying to make bolognese, is it? <laughs> then, I'm going to put four of these roasted peeled peppers. Pepper? Really kind of smoky, sweet flavour. Four of these go in. Wrong again. <laughs> tomato. Shouldn't it be chilli? Yes, there should be a, a bunch of red chilli in there. I don't know what's... That's two red ingredients already, bro. I'm still waiting for the beetroot to show up. Yeah, but I'll, let's put some money on it. Or chili jam. <laughs> don't start. <laughs> Puree and red pepper. I think Jamie going, oh, I'm making red curry today. Get all the red thing in kitchen and throw in there. Good thing <laughs> yeah. he's not working next to fire extinguisher. <laughs> he's gonna put that into... Really good. A kind of smoky, sweet flavour. Four of these go in. And then I've got this bunch of coriander. Cori <laughs> so much? <laughs> Big handful, stalks. You want coriander root, not coriander. Use this one chilli and then garlic. What? <laughs> chilli. I'll use this one chilli. <laughs> one chilli. One chilli. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, niece right. and nephew. The green curry was bad and he used three. Three chilli. Three chilli. Three chilli in his curry. And now he's got one. One chilli. Look. <laughs> <laughs> He's done what we anticipated. I'm sure everyone at home watching is thinking the same thing. This guy, he learns a recipe by looking at what colour it is. And then he starts <laughs> scouting the room for things of that colour. And it's getting chucked in the end product. 
That's it. It's lucky that he can't touch his microphone. It's got a bit of red on it. I would end it up inside and <laughs> all. Jamie Oliver making his green curry. He used three chili, and we all know yeah. that it's not enough. We remember. Yeah, one chili. Why even bother? <laughs> red curry like this one portion. We use ten red chili. One chili. <laughs> use the right amount, not the white amount. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like to use only 10% of the required chillers. Yeah, yeah. Like people with their brains, he does that with chillers. <laughs> Apparently we only use like up to five, between five and 10% of our brain. For some reason, he's he's cheaping out on the chili the same way. Except for he doesn't have to take some limitless pill to go and buy a pack of chillers. We have to take that pill to get better. <laughs> you got no excuse, Jay. And then garlic, two cloves of garlic. And just Ay, yeah, garlic crusher in. for what? You're gonna blend it all in food <laughs> processor anyway. <laughs> garlic crusher is the whitest invention. Uncle Roger only see white people use it before. Nephew kidnapper, you white? Do you have any garlic crusher at home? Uh, yeah. See what I tell you? I so white. <laughs> okay, speaking for white people. Yeah. I do not have a garlic crusher. I actually cut my garlic. Okay. So you're old school. So white. And he can't even squash. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> no wrong. Kalangkau, not ginger. And then I've got a secret ingredient, okay? Lime leaves. Incredible. So put about four or five leaves. Not lime leaves. You want lime, says. Secret ingredient. If by secret you mean wrong, then you correct. Four <laughs> or five leaves of kaffir lime in there. Oh, it looks so bad. Those beautiful Gross. in there. We want to... Um, We've got beautiful. So, um, about two tablespoons no. of olive oil goes in. Jimmy, olive, olive oil. oil. Bro, <laughs> he's done it again. That wasn't even a tablespoon. This guy won't stop. Olive oil everywhere. I can't take any more of this. I'm just thinking of the olive extinction. Another 20 years, no one's going to know what they were. They've all been pressed for Jamie's uses. <laughs> could keep up with the, the supply, could keep up with the demand. <laughs> or Jamie Olive Oil owns shares in an olive oil company. Do you think? So he what? has to. When you say shares, do you mean 99% of the company? <laughs> and it's all he wants to promote. <laughs> and no. season with soy sauce. So, so, what? One to two tablespoons should do. This guy's. But we're going to. So, soy sauce? For your tirade curry paste? Who do that? Hiya. This is Jamie Olive Oil. Worst video yet. Nobody put soy sauce in tirade curry. Hiya. <laughs> okay, okay, Uncle Roger, I'm going to stop this. This video is giving you a heart attack, and I don't want to be a murderer. Don't you dare, don't you dare, nephew kidnapper. We <laughs> in too deep now. All our ancestors crying. Uncle Roger needs to avenge them. Press play. Press play. <laughs> Two tablespoons of olive oil goes in, and I'm going to season with soy sauce. What the hell is this red curry? Is he adding more soy sauce? Yeah. Wear your white peppercorn. Wear your salt. Salt he don't have. So he put in soy sauce, and he's like, I'm going to season with soy sauce, and pulls in even more. Just in case he didn't get it wrong enough the first time. <laughs> and wear your shrimp paste. Hiya. Shrimp paste, one of the most important ingredients in red curry paste. Should do the trick, but we're going to adjust that later. And a little bit Please don't adjust of it later. fish sauce. Basically a teaspoon of fish sauce. Fish sauce, correct. But don't put in blender. <laughs> fish sauce you put in when cooking. But credit to Jamie. He using Tiparo's fish sauce. That's super authentic. One point to Jamie. So now he at negative 9,999 <laughs> points. It's basically a teaspoon of fish sauce and a teaspoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil wrong. Oh, look at that. So ugly, so clumpy. Hang that on there so we can get all of that out there. Ugh. In a hot pan. Queen mother in law gets horrible. smoother paste in just four pounds. It's like a food processor, not even trying. Hi. Jamie Oliver cooking so bad, even his food processor give up on him. <laughs> <laughs> just bang that on there so we can get all of that out there. In a hot pan, I'm going to go a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil again. <laughs> Wrong again. <laughs> That word a little bit. <laughs> I bet that was about a quarter of a teaspoon to him, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't care. Even Gordon Ramsay is the same. Like, how do they measure teaspoons just by pouring it out? Because every time they pour something, they pour it for a different amount of time. Look, when Gordon Ramsay makes a mistake, that's a chef messing up. When Jamie Oliver makes a mistake, you're wondering what he's doing in the kitchen in the first place, bro. You think that like, <laughs> you should be cleaning the toilets or something. It's not safe for you. There's <laughs> knives. There's sharp fingers in here, Jamie. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> messing around with all these ingredients and that. Everyone's poor ancestors. <laughs> Paste in here first. All of it. Off oh, in. Jamie, don't use off it. Save some paste for your pasta. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with the prawn. No. <laughs> no. Frozen prawns, they're perfect. Frozen prawns? Chuck them in frozen now. Frozen prawns. He's frying frozen prawns. Yes, there's gonna be some extra water coming into that sauce now as well to help loosen all those thick bits up. <laughs> Surely you would cook the shrimps and st well, the prawns first and then add in the uh, the abomination from the fruit presser afterwards. Yeah, yeah. But it's been wrong the whole way. You could chuck, you could chuck a panda in there, bro, and like, no one's gonna know the difference now. <laughs> no, no worries at all. Give him a little shake like that. No, don't pour. You don't just saute pawn like that. You're not making stir fry. Pawn is expensive ingredient and you ruin it like that. This pawn in red curry. You just cook in red curry itself, like how you cook chicken in Thai green curry. No mm -hmm. need to stir fry it first. <sighs> You're wasting <laughs> pawn. Okay, continue, continue. continue. <laughs> Give me a little shake like that. I'm also gonna get sugar snap peas. Shook straight. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Munch to More again, munch 200 than... gram of that. It found its way into the green core here. It's found its way into the red one as well. I don't know how. <laughs> At least in the green one, it was a green ingredient. It didn't belong there, but there was some sort of logic. Here, no reason. You got it. <laughs> this just doesn't make sense. Yeah, this is Jamie's cooking for you, bro. I should know what to expect going into these videos when it has Jamie Oliver's name. <laughs> but every single time, he manages to surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> He's just so unpredictable. Like all his food. Random. <laughs> Worst vegetable. Oh, this guy just loves Munch 2. Is he sponsored by Big Munch 2 or something? Every curry, he put that in there and 200 grams of this shit Versus one chili. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Versus one Helen chili. Brutal. Yeah? She the most evil bitch. She makes me feel like Mother Teresa. This is just vegetable smoothie now. And then coconut milk. So literally, I'm going to bring this to the boil and turn it right down to a simmer. And this will be ready in three minutes. A little bit of coriander. More coriander? <laughs> I think you the already. <laughs> and a little bit of lime juice. Lime juice wrong. So I'm just going to pour that. Oh, this Thai red curry. No Thai, no red, and not curry. <laughs> Look at <laughs> this <laughs> shit. Oh. <laughs> it literally looks like shit. Bro, that's some diaper mess right there. <laughs> oh. If you ordered a Thai red curry and that arrived, would you be happy with that? I think you'd be uh, <laughs> satisfied, bro. It looks like my cats had diarrhea from eating grass. <laughs> oh, jeez, bro. That's bad. It's not a good image. And nor is that. Absolutely gorgeous. What's gorgeous? This not Thai red curry. This British orange soup. Oh, <laughs> Uncle Roger. Don't. Almost that's not British. We ain't claiming that. That is not British. We don't cook like that. Jamie's doing his own thing. Don't paint us with his brush, all right? It's not fair. <laughs> I think as a country, we should just disown Jamie Oliver. He should have his own country. Let's just give him a little island somewhere near the South Pole. We could just stay there, catch fish and... Olive Arabian. Yes. And he can live there on an island, cook whatever he wants. Just surviving on olive trees. But, oh my God, that just, it just doesn't look right and... Here's an image of what it's meant to look. Compared to what his looks like. 
as you can see, I'm more enticed with this image <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> than I am with this one. <sighs> Nephew kidnapper, Uncle Roger done now. Release me! Release me! Hello, who is this? Hello, Uncle Roger. It's Auntie Helen. Release me, you crazy woman! Let me go! What are you doing? Let you go? <laughs> Whoa. Maybe I'll think about it when you get more subscribers than Jamie Oliver. No, no. <laughs> Hit subscribe now. Help Uncle Roger get more subscribers than Jamie Olive Oil. Otherwise, I cannot make any more video for you. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is a very good way to get people to subscribe. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad thing. <laughs> it's a good marketing plan. Next week, Sam's going to be tied up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, guys, if we hit 100 subscribers then I will not be tied up. <laughs> Instead, Ooh. Joe will be tied up. What? No, I want to be, I want to be free. But let's, let's break this down. Okay, so if we're breaking this down, <clears throat> we've seen him mess up the paste again. So he's chucked tomato puree in there, red peppers, a bunch of coriander, yeah? And that one key ingredient that he messes up every time. One chili just the one watch yeah you don't want to taste it if you had a bit one and a half chilies would be getting carried with your 200 milligrams grams kg whatever trucks full he just keeps on chucking peas and everything what's his problem man olive oil peas even the puree stuff like he's, yeah See, i found it weird how it was meant like a thai red curry and he's adding in more green stuff than there is red mm-hmm that's why it got that horrible kind of brownish kind of colour. It's the mixture of the colours. That colour wouldn't be bad if it was like around a dish it was suited for. You know what I mean? Um, but I have no clue what he's playing at, bro. He's just he's just playing around with whatever he wants to do. As I said, random stuff he's throwing in there. And he thinks that it's alright because it's Asian ingredient or something. That's because the dish is named after an Asian dish. Does it mean it is an Asian dish? No, I haven't seen him cook one. He's, like, he's done like four or five at least, but I haven't seen one of them be authentic. They've all been disgusting. I mean, packet rice, like, no, man, I ain't even going there. I really ain't. I can't be asked to list this. Failures, which is what they are, by the way, Jamie. Failures. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I can watch another Jamie Oliver video. Unless we get 100 subscribers. <laughs> he's pushing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everyone watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with everything we're putting out here. And thank you to Uncle Roger for creating such amazing content that me and Joe are able to sit here and react and review. Yeah, cheers. Nice one. But that's going to be us for now, and we will see you next week for the next episode. Peace. Peace.